connecting the gear to the prop shaft, um, the flanges, and we're going to... Hi, Justin with Seaboard Marine. In this video, we're going to drop this engine in the boat for the final time. We're going to align it, and we're going to do a little bit of electrical work. Alright, we're almost ready to put the engine in for the final time. We moved the battery over to this side, with some, made a little battery box out of some starboard. Battery tray, I should say. What are you doing right now, Frank? We're going to re rewire part of the battery system. Okay. We're going to make it simplify it for the owner. And it seems a little bit confusing right now, so we're going to be getting rid of it, cleaning this up a little bit, get rid of this fiberglass, and just making it all right here, nice little panel. Cool. Got some battery disconnects here. We reused the, origi the original prop shaft. Mm -hmm. Same coupling. Same coupling. But we, uh, you re trued it up, right, with the shaft? Yeah. You had to move it a little bit. We took, what, uh, three quarters of an inch off the three shaft? Three quarters of an inch, face it, machine it, pin it, ready to go. Pretty much ready to drop the engine in. Yeah. It'll be yep. coming soon, huh? Mm hmm. So, uh, how are we going to do, what are we doing for electrical well, this here? Is for the, what we're going to do is, is simplify it a little bit for him, clean it up. We're going to go right here with this, a piece of starboard, you know, a big, nice piece of starboard here. And we're going to put these two switches, you know, like this. Perfect. Kind of like that. One for the engine and one, one for, the for the engine and one on a combiner, like combines all the batteries together. Cool. About enough switches. This is stuff for the inverter. What about the and other over side? Over here, we're going to put another piece of starboard here, black starboard, and we're going to put these guys up like this. Sweet. So it can kind of cleans it up a little bit. Yeah, nice. <laughs> this goes here. Oh. Yeah. I'm missing a piece. It's going to be, I'm at the file, this one. Yeah. Circuit breaker for the anchor witch. What's and, this one? And this is the uh, breaker for the panel, power to the dashboard. For the distribution panel in there? Yep. And then these are the and two batteries? The combiner and that's the engine start battery. Cool. <clears throat> so, to, so to charge his house bank, he just combines them when he's running? No, we're going to have a battery combiner. isolator. Oh, we are going to have a battery yeah, isolator. We're okay. going to put a battery isolator. All right, Frank, what are we doing today? Well, since we dropped the engine in, now we're going to line it up. Is it just sitting there? It's just sitting there right now. Not bolted in at all? Not bolted in. we got to drill that isolator. We might have to move the engine around a little bit <clears throat> to make it work. But uh, as soon as we line it up... So this is the last time we're putting it in? last time it's not coming out anymore. So we did all our upfits and everything. New alternator. New alternator. High output alternator. Better isolator. The exhaust is all welded up and ready to go on here. Yeah. We'll put that on. <coughs> but we got to line it up to the. Uh, I don't know if I can get a good shot of it here, but we gotta obviously line it up with the prop shaft down there. You comfy down there, Frank? Yeah. Part of life. Be inside of a fish, of a bilge. All right, Jay. Maybe that's what we should call our, our uh, YouTube channel, Life in the Bilge. Life in the Bilge. There you go. That's <laughs> a cool one. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Ah. A tiny bit more. A tiny bit more. Just a little bit. Good. That's good. Four thou feeler gauge. Here, I'll fold it up for you. All right, Jay. Let's come up on the front of the motor. Okay. We're gonna raise these isolators up. Yep. How much? Uh, let's go up for now. Three flats. Two. Three. Oh. Yep. Okay. Three more. Come close. How many flats? Let's go five this time. Um, I want to be aggressive and if we have to go down, we'll come down. Two, four, five. 
to me, the top of the engine. So the, the front of the engine needs, yeah, to, go. needs to go that way. But yeah, okay. Just don't hit it too super hard, but it's going to move easy. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure. Go ahead and hit a little bit. So now you just you just turn the shaft what 180? Yeah. Turn the shaft 180 and check it again. Make sure. Yeah. If it's good. changing, then you got an issue with the uh, it's the coupler, good. right? Yeah. It's good, Jay. Still good? Yeah, it's good. I mean, it goes down here at the bottom. I mean, this is for thousands of an inch. Yeah. Now we can drill these back stringer brackets. Okay. I could use one. Okay, Jay, I don't know if you can see from that side. Yeah. Can you see the bolts? Yeah. Can you get to the, with a wrench, or the 15, 16 wrench, just hold? The other side? Yeah, the probably. Other side. Okay, we just got the coupler bolted on for oh, the final man. time. Torqued all the bolts. We got the uh, isolators drilled, stringer brackets drilled and bolted on. The engine is aligned and ready to ready to run. Right. It's not. Now we can drill these back brackets, mounting plates, stringer plates, stringer brackets. Yeah. Now we can drill these back stringer brackets. This time we're going to show you how we aligned it using the feeler gauge to align the gear to the prop shaft, um, the flanges, and we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Hi, Justin with Seaboard Marine. In this video, we're going to drop the engine in the boat for the final time. We're going to... <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> hey, quiet on set. Quiet on set, homie. Don't you be eyeballing me. <laughs>